Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Parkitect. We have completed Nova Labs, and it is time to move on to a new park. Um, so let's see here. Um, we did manage to get gold on Nova Labs, which I'm really pleased about. Oh, looks like we're unlocking a whole new area. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, look, frosty places. Oh, I like, I, like, I like the look of frosty places. So... Um, Adventure Island. Cool. Well, we're not going to be uh, coming to Adventure Island right now, as cool as it looks, and uh, I'm excited to go to it. No. Instead, we are going to come back here to the Mystic Desert and play on a, a Mystic Oasis. A rich Arabian landowner wants to turn this fertile desert oasis into a blossoming theme park. Can you turn a mirage into reality with the little available land? Uh, blazing hot climate and the rich uh, but demanding guests. Oh, okay. Um, so quite the opposite, really, then, uh, from the last park. Seems we're going to have a lot less space. It's going to be hot and sunny instead of cold and raining. Um, okay. And the customers have a lot of money, but they're going to be more difficult to please. Fair enough. Hey, this sounds pretty cool. Um, have at least 400 guests in your park. Have a happiness rating of at least 75%, which I guess is going to be more challenging than it has been in previous parks. Although, I think we tend to smash that one, so that, that should be okay. And then the optionals. Have at least 100 guests in your park. Have at least 200 guests in your park. And complete all non-optional goals by March year two. Right, okay, so that... <laughs> it's getting... Uh, we have to achieve these things quicker and quicker, don't we? Um, but at least this is 400 guests instead of 500, which I think we did actually have that in the previous park for, for March of year two. So uh, this, this should be, we should be okay. Let's jump in, see what, uh, what we have. Here we are. Okay, let's pin this as always up here. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we like it up here. Right. Good. Now, our little entrance. Ooh. <gasps> okay. Really liking this. Really liking this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, and some simple but effective uh, design uh, around around here. Uh, let's just have a look, actually. Uh, yeah, it's uh, still causing a lot of ugliness. <laughs> Okay, um, right, really liking this. So this is our theme. Uh, we have an Arabian architectural uh, theme to be getting on with. Um, so really quite different from anything that we've done before, quite excited. And the size of our park is actually quite small, isn't it? It looks like we will unlock uh, some land, I guess, when we hit uh, some goals, we might unlock that. Um, and we actually do have a bit of land over here. Don't know whether it's going to be goal based or, or purchase. And then we've got um, some water here in the middle. Look at this. Um, this is this is really cool, isn't it? This this uh, looks nice. Um, so uh, what's clear to me with design about this? <laughs> I like these these uh, palms up the up the way. Um, is that I am going to have to be careful again with plants. Uh, I'm not going to want to make anything that we build out here in the desert too green uh, lush with plants unless um do you know what might be good as a theme for this particular park is water rides you know maybe we should take full advantage of water rides in in the research um look yeah maybe we we might just do that um, yeah, we might go water ride mad, see what we can unlock here. Surely we can unlock loads. Because if it's really hot, um, surely they're the sorts of rides you'd want to be getting getting on. I mean, they're the sort of rides I'd be wanting to, to get on. So yeah, um, you know, and then maybe we could decorate. So you know, I've been doing like lots of plants or sort of islands of plants. Maybe we could do um, 
water ones water-based ones you know so there's lots of fountains around the place oh yes okay we're going to we're gonna have fun with water I think in this particular park let's see what we've got available from the get-go oh my goodness a magic carpet oh my god how perfect is that well that's going to be going in straight away we've got the helter skelter and the teacups lovely uh we do have a swinging ship um and a wipeout interesting coasters so we have a do oh we have a vertical drop coaster well i might try and get one of those in because well i've never had one before uh <laughs> quite honestly transport roads none water rides Ooh, so we've got bumper boats <gasps> that's new we've not had bumper boats before oh motorized circular boats with large bumpers that bump into each other oh yeah um, and then the splash battle again. We've got the, spl <laughs> got the splash battle again. Um, we might actually have to increase the water area, um, you know, or, or create new ones. Like we could, like this is sort of water level. We could bring this back here and put water in. Yeah, so I think we might be adding a bunch of water. Um, excellent. Okay, excited. So what do we have in terms of shops? So we have food. Look at this. Um, excellent. Decreases hunger, increases thirst. Uh, same with the hamburger. Um, but we do have Sammy soft drinks again. Uh, excellent. Uh, I, it, it would be nice to see more of the shops. They've got loads of shops in this game, but of course I never research them. Um, and we do have the information kiosk. Um, we shouldn't really need umbrellas, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> I guess we'll we'll see. I mean, it's bound to rain at some point, but I can't imagine it being too frequent, yeah, it, in all honesty. Um, but we have food and drink, uh, which is great, and they can buy park maps uh, with those with those stores. Oh my goodness! And I'm I'm loving this style. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go online and find uh, lots of reference material. So what I've found is that Arabian architecture is really quite incredible in its very detailed and intricate um, uh, which is wonderful and could be a lot of fun to build but also expensive right for for an amusement park it's going to be an expensive way to go so I started looking up more commercialized versions of Arabian architecture and I pretty much landed at Aladdin <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because what we also have to bear in mind um, with this is that all the buildings will end up being like a sandstone color and um, what's nice about disney is that they help inject color in into it which is going to be important for an amusement park we are going to need a bit of color and we can see here with these sorts of motifs um that this the awnings will be a <clears throat> a great way to add uh, some color um so yeah that's what's really great looking at disney stuff is um uh, getting an idea you'll notice actually with one of the pictures that I have here from Disney I'll put it on the screen um, is that the buildings are looking a little richer in color so um, I might try and start warming up the buildings a little bit in terms of color maybe uh, do a bit of a variety of tones um, and you can see that they have really gone for purples and blues and and, and um, pinks and stuff like that uh, so I think that is pretty much what we're going to be uh, looking at. And of course, we've got that palace in Aladdin, which could be, um, if we made a small version, could be uh, quite a nice weenie. Um, and looking at this park, I mean, it, it, that that image in um, Aladdin is is really great with the, with the path and the arches going over it. And then you can see um, the palace in the distance. We're not really going to be able to do that here. I don't think because we've got we've got this water so it might be that we might have to do a bit of a plaza in this direction um, instead so they come in and might head in this way um, and another thing that's quite striking is the marketplaces so the marketplaces are going to be making like a, a plaza area for the shops and stuff like that and to relax it's going to be a nice way to start we always like to start with there um, and we're going to probably start building out um, up this way um, yeah instead of towards this which is a little bit weird it's a little bit weird um, but yeah I, I just I really like this this picture that I've uh, got from Aladdin 
with this water it might be that we we join it all up and make it a bit larger and put some sort of water ride in here so that you know and pull this back a bit you know so this so there is something here that's coming off this main drag for water rides yeah yeah okay so i need to get started uh definitely need to get started um we've got a good amount of money it's looking hot and sunny um i think i might i mean it's going to be paused for a while but i think i might put this i put this up um yeah and i shall try to get started i'm not sure if I want to keep this as a grey path, let's 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 see. I guess how we uh, get on.
then. Uh, I think this is the beginning of my Arabian theme park. Um, yeah, so what have I been up to? So as you can see, uh, I've I've really invested in this. I mean, I, I had a few pictures from Aladdin, but you can see that I've really invested in this one specific picture um, that I have uh, picked up. Um, so the staff area is very much coming underground here. Uh, let's hide scenery. Um, it comes right under there and uh, you saw that I, I did end up uh, changing it um, uh, so that it, it came around here as I ended up deciding to bring the entrance to the magic carpet uh, through the actual store. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Uh, so they actually come in here to go on the magic carpet and they go up there so they're forced to come past the food. Um, but I really liked the idea of them walking over this archway because uh, we can see in that picture um, that, that I have that, that there is walkways up and above and in and around the buildings uh, so I thought I would try and start injecting that into this design um, hence uh, there was a lot of um, wang jangling to get this path coming up over here um, in order to get them to the magic carpet ride I could do with getting some dooms over here um, we'll, I think we'll do that in a minute um, so we've really sort of tried to make the magic carpet part of look like part of the buildings because what we'll note is that there's just so many buildings all close together you know it's um it's all very close knit which means that having this much space you're unlikely to use it because this park is actually going to need to be really really compact uh because of the the theme that, that we're going for uh yeah 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 uh so you'll notice that i've actually been using castle parts uh, to make these bits and then I'm actually using um, a plant uh, in the end <laughs> um, this one uh, to make this angle on here the topiary um, to get that done um, I've tried to make a makeshift market stall here as well using uh, the shapes uh, that you get uh, we've gone for a large seating area here I've decided uh, to keep that sort of marketplace feel I didn't want um, the bin is coming down the center and actually it's quite light on lighting as well I've put it on auto today and night um, so we'll see you know what it looks like at night uh, but I'm liking the idea of using lanterns and probably flags about the place um, so we'll be doing we'll be doing that the only thing I haven't been doing is changing uh, the building um, colors you know just various shades so might need to look into doing that just to add a little more interest so it's not too samey uh, so uh, need to need to do that and I think some of these domes actually could pick up some color as well uh, that would be nice we've got a toilet in here um, and yeah we've got Sammy soft drinks and we've got squeezel burgers in here uh, we can see that I do indeed now have a sanat as our janitor um, I have a mechanic to look after this uh, what we're going to do um, there's also a hauler uh, so what we're going to do we're going to uh, put this to five we're going to open the park now as in we are going to unpause this <laughs> um, and just start seeing uh, what we have here um, and we really need to get the research underway because I'm definitely going to want water rides. You can see here as well that I've worked quite hard, even though this marketplace isn't quite finished yet, I've worked quite hard to find uh, various different ways that we can get out of the marketplace uh, uh, and build out from. Um, and again, in the true Aladdin form, I have gone for all these different colored uh, awnings and coverings, and I've actually uh, done um, the, the pink that it had in the Aladdin buildings uh, I've brought that in as well just to break up the monotonous uh, coloring uh, so here they come fantastic god they've got quite a long walk haven't they really long walk um, hopefully that will give time for the hauler to um, get some stock in it, it should it should be working um, that sounded good that sounded like something just went in there uh, so yeah what, what, what we have um, to do I think um, 
is I would like um, to try and adjust the color of the buildings a little bit so it's not all completely the same. I'm not paying that much. Uh oh, uh oh, I've only just noticed. Okay, I've only just noticed. Wow, that is that is a lot of people walking away. Whoops. <laughs> Too busy painting. Right, it's fine. It's fine. What colours could we have up here? We don't really want to go gold just yet. Um, because that would probably be on the main weenie. So we'll probably just repeat this sort of theme we've got going on down here. The colour. It's pretty nice. I'd like a different shape as well dome I wonder what I could use uh, as a different uh, shape for the domes because um, these aren't really relevant to this theme um, oh I wonder what like trees we have um, as I ended up using this here oh look oh hang on it's absolutely freaking tiny can we make that bigger no we can't okay well that's rubbish then how big's that? That's tiny as well. Can we make that bigger? No, right. <laughs> we can't. It seems the topiary you can't change. Okay, what what trees have we got? Uh, anything? I don't know. That the thing about these is that they wave around. I think um, in the wind, which is a bit of a problem. Um, I wonder. Like if we were to do to change the shape a bit, I don't know. I wonder. That might actually be something I mess around with um, on the weenie, uh, so that it looks different and a little bit more grand. So I'm going to stick with this design for now. Do you know, a fountain though might not go amiss here, right? Uh, we haven't yet put a fountain in. I like the idea, um, it's not effects. I like the idea of putting a fountain in. Um, we do have all the fountains. Uh, I always forget where all these things are though. Are they in props, the fountains? Yeah, uh, we could go round or we could go square. Um, I suppose if we went, can we actually, oh, I won't though. It's actually quite good for when you come into the park. Look, it's actually quite good. We could probably, oh, we need to remove the path. We could uh, probably put um, some bennies around this as well. That might be nice. Um, yeah, should we do that? Let's get some uh, bennies. Uh, there we go. Uh, except these bennies you are sitting in the sun like it's really hot <laughs> really hot probably not the best place to be uh, to be sitting something else we could do we could stick some em emitters oh, on here couldn't we we could stick some emitters um, we have water jets that's what we have so we could put a water jet right in the center the oh that's not what I wanted at all now I'm going to delete the whole... Oh, there we go. Although, there's been an update um, since I last played. I would really like... Is that... That is already online. I want that to point upwards. Is it pointing upwards? Yes! Oh! <laughs> it might be a little high. <laughs> it might be a little high. Uh, shall we, shall we halve its height? We could just type that in. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to get rid of that now. Although, now, in this update, the idea... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it because it's inside the fountain. But you'll notice that the fountain's now highlighted, or the bench is now, you know, so... But that's new, being able to see specifically what it is you're selecting. It's actually new, can you believe it? So we're, we're going to have to, oops, uh, do this again. There we go. <laughs> Pretty pleased with that. Uh, we could, I wonder how that would look with these emitters. We could put little splash ones. 
Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so we got we got a little bit of uh, life happening, and maybe what we could do here, just to make uh, this a little bit a little bit nicer, is we could put some plants in. Maybe we could put in yeah something. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's starting to detract a little bit uh, from from the park. Do you know? Uh, from the marketplace a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I'm starting to not like it. I might actually get rid of the bennies around it. I could leave that one there, I guess. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I felt like it was actually just getting a bit too much, strangely. Oh, we could put a park map in. Although it defeats the point of buying them, I suppose. That's a good point, actually. It does defeat the point of buying them. Frickin' buy them. <laughs> Do you know what? We will put some of these barrels here. There we go. And we'll put some pots. Oh, that's still, look, pot. We can put some pots around it. I swear I'm clicking on it. Okay. There. Yeah. Don't know, that, that, looks, that just looks a little bit better, I think, uh, uh, for me. Right, well, there we are. So, um, that's the beginning of our mystic oasis. Uh, um, it's it's going all right. Yeah, let's let's hope that it expands in this vein <laughs> and is successful. Because right now, obviously, uh, it's not. We've got uh, we've we've got to do a serious amount of expanding uh, to rectify this situation. That's not a problem. Uh, we are going to go water ride uh, mad. I think. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.